Now, ladies and gentlemen, just when we thought things were starting to slow down for CSGO news in regards to Source 2 and of course the Paris Major being a little over two months away still, that as of right now has been proven utterly wrong. So just a few hours ago, as of me recording this video and this going live, Gabe Follower has put out a tweet, which no shocker here, it's very juicy. As of today, CSGO devs are finally starting to form skin collections for the Anubis and most likely Tuscan collection alongside that for the Paris Major. Well, one of those collections, that being Tuscan, since it's not going to be in the Major, will most likely be in later on, which that's very interesting itself. In today's video, I want to discuss if these skin collections will just be the one-off part of an operation, also some more behind the scenes where Valve actually purchased both Anubis and Tuscan not that long ago, and how this all ties in together. Today's video sponsor is Skinport. Skinport is a buying and selling marketplace for your skins and some new flashy ones you may want to pick up. They currently have over 700,000 tradable items listed on their website, and buying is as easy as the click of a few buttons, with many filters to help you find the right price and also stickers you have in mind. Skinport has exceptionally great deals especially compared to the steam market we take this cram at doppler for instance which on skin port it's listed for 932 dollars and on top of that it's phase three versus the steam market you're looking at a completely different ballpark it's phase one which is arguably the worst phase for a karambit and it's also 1200 usd as it goes for selling it can't be any more fast safe and secure skin port is one of the most highly rated but also most reviewed sites on Trustpilot, with an average rating of 4.9 stars if you sell anything over a thousand dollars it drops to a six percent sale fee once your item is sold it goes directly to your bank account via bank transfer. If you're wanting to buy or sell some skins that you have right now to get some quick cash, Skinport is here. Now firstly, apologies if I sound sick. I am sicker than a mother trucker right now, but let's hop into the video. Before we talk about the skins, let's talk about the behind the scenes purchase that not a lot of people have one discussed or even know about. Now Valve is the past couple of weeks or possibly months, we don't really know the exact date and time, have officially purchased Tuscan and also Anubis inside CSGO for $150,000 each. Now how they're paying those said creators is very interesting. They're supposed to to submit a skin to the workshop and Valve pays them through the workshop as if they added a skin to a case or some sort of operation. Now thoughts and reasoning behind that is that Valve is going to get some sort of tax break. They can write that off specifically for their income. That's pretty weird, but makes sense at the same time. As it goes for CSGO skins, I want to take a look at the initial tweet that Gabe Follower put out, my thoughts if we're going to get an operation, and what skins we could get for Anubis. Now 4am Central, Gabe Follower put out, about a week ago CSGO devs started to finally form skins collection for Anubis and most likely Tuscan. Looks like none of these skins were created exclusively, and the devs just picked up already published workshop publications from community creators for a fixed fee, just like how they get things for an operation or a case. Now, obviously the juicy part, are we going to get an operation or no? I'm going to go off on a whim and say no, but it's definitely not off the table. Now, the reason I say that, yes, we are very close to the Revolution case release still, being still a little under a month, but we've gotten operations and cases and events like this very close to each other, with the supposed release of Source 2 very soon, with the Paris Major, with organizations and professional players asking people, their fans, to make certain individual stickers for them when they never have before for this said major. That would just be one hell of a coincidence in my opinion. And I think there is some sort of possibility where they could have the big major, Source 2, and then also an operation maybe debut right after the major concludes or possibly halfway through to kind of get everyone back, maybe that left from CSGO, and pull them in for Source 2. That's what it mainly is. But for these collections, I think they're going to get added in most likely just some sort of Tuesday weekly maintenance update, probably a few weeks before the Paris major. Because we do get the stickers, they'll probably throw the souvenir packages in that update, but we will obviously be able to buy them until they start playing matches. Now, as it goes for some of these skins of what they could look like, I have a few different videos from when Anubis first got added to the pool. We looked over some really cool skins that we thought maybe could go in an operation because at the time we didn't receive a case and an operation was definitely on the table compared to now. And I want to quickly take a look at some of my favorite skins that I think could get added to the Anubis collection. And at this point, they would have already been chosen and Valve would have probably already started to work on them. One of the most famous ones for Anubis, but also the ancient Egypt collection is the Riddle of Sphinx for the AWP. This is actually a whole collection, which is really cool, which I covered in a video. Skins we've already seen in the game, like the Legion of Anubis, are a part of this collection as well. And this AWP, to me, looks absolutely fantastic. It would fill that void of yellow, gray, and beige, kind of like a D-Lore, a Desert Hydra, maybe a few other skins all kind of meshed into one. That would form a dream AWP for some people. And for me, I'd probably pick this up. I really like this. And we'll check out one last skin, the Glock 18 for the T side, the Sands of Rams. Rams, I'm not sure if I pronounced that correctly. Probably not. This is also part of the exact same collection. I think it looks really cool. The way this wears is probably my favorite part. Now, do I think something like this is going to get added to the said collection? Possibly, but probably not. I really hope the next couple of collections inside CS do us some good. I know I'm not the only one by feeling the past couple of collections for majors, but also cases, maybe even operation skins, haven't been that great. I feel like there's just a new audience for skins now who don't like and appreciate the more basic side of skins, and that's perfectly fine. I support both sides. I like both sides of the skins. Really fancy artwork, and also the basic. And I just feel like as of recently, we were 
received a whole lot of the artwork and fancy graphical type of skins rather than basic. That's just my thoughts. Let me know what you guys think down below. Are you guys excited? I know I am personally for the major. I just hope it's a lot better than the Rio major. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay positive, stay sexy. I'm out guys. Peace.